Hello, welcome back to Apex Math. We've been working on a unit on with solving exponents and understanding how to work with exponents. And today's lesson is lesson four, and we're going to get to some more advanced problems. If you have not watched units uh, one through three, please do so since these build on each other. Um, so let's clear the screen and get started. So previously we were working with negative exponents and let's go ahead and review a problem that we did with negative exponents. We'll make it a little bit harder than what we did before. Um, let's see. Uh, why? Let's add a negative exponent on the outside of the parentheses, which is not something we've done before. Um, let's do this over x squared y. All right, so how would we solve this? Well, remember, what we want to do is we want to break down each step based on what we've learned previously. So what we've learned are two things. Is we've learned that anytime we have a negative exponent, that means that what we have is unhappy and that it wants to change locations. But we've also learned that when we have parentheses, we can distribute that negative exponent. So we have two choices here. We can either take this whole parentheses and move it down and make that a positive 2, or we can distribute the negative 2 first and then move things around. So whichever way, it uh, doesn't really matter which way you're going to do it. It will, things will go quicker, I think, if we go ahead and move this entire parentheses down here first. So the negative 2, remember, is referring to this whole set here. So basically, it's a family. We talked about this before being tenants that are unhappy. Well, here's a whole family in this parentheses, and they're unhappy. So the whole family is going to move downstairs, so we're going to have 2x squared y in parentheses, and that negative 2, since the whole family has moved, now becomes a positive 2. And these two guys were down here to begin with, and they were already had positive exponents, so they were fine. Now there's nothing left on top, so what do we do when there's nothing on top? We just stick a 1 up there. So the next step now is to distribute that power we have here. Remember, anything without an exponent we want to stick a 1 on and then we want to distribute this 2 to each of these. So we're going to have 1 over and we're going to do 2 to the 1 times 2 which is 2, x to the 2 times 2 which is 4, y to the 1 times 2 which is 2, and we still have the x to the 2 and the y that was already down here. So the next thing we want to do is combine the like terms. So numerically, 2 squared is 4, and 1 fourth is already in simplest form. So we don't need to make any changes here. That just stays a 1 fourth. Next, we're going to look at our x's. We have an x to the fourth and an x squared. Notice that they are on the same level, and they both have a base, so we're going to add the exponent. So this becomes x to the 6th. Then we have a y squared and a y to the 1st. So again, they're on the same level. They both have a base, so we're going to add the exponents, so we get y to the 3rd. So our final answer is 1 over 4x to the 6th y to the third. All right, let's try another one. Let's do negative 2 squared x to the negative 4 y z to the negative 1 over Uh, 3 to the negative 1, x to the 6, y to the negative 1, z to the 4th. 
All right. If you want to, feel free to pause the video and try it on your own. But we'll go ahead and do this together. So let's look at our numbers first. There's no parentheses that we have to distribute. So we're just going to be looking at moving the negative exponents around. Now I want you to be really careful to remember that negative numbers and negative exponents are not the same thing. So this negative here does not mean that he's unhappy. He is simply a negative. Um, his exponent is a 2, so he is still a happy uh, value. He's going to stay where he is. It's only the negative exponents that make something move, not a negative in front of the number. So we have a negative, and then we have, remember that he only acts on what's immediately in front of him unless he's in parentheses. So that's going to be 2 squared, which is 4. So that takes care of this. Then we have x to the negative 4. So what do we do with him? Well, he's a negative exponent, so we're going to bring him down. And now I can cross him off. Then we have a y. He is a positive exponent, so he can stay where he is. z to the negative 1. He is a negative exponent, so he's going to move down here. He becomes z to the positive 1. Now we have 3 to the negative 1. Now notice his exponent is negative. So that means he needs to move. So he's going to move up here. And he's going to become 3 to the positive 1. And cross him off. x to the 6. He can stay down here. y to the negative 1. He's going to have to move. So he's going to come up here and become y to the positive 1. And then lastly, I can't fit it over here, so I'm going to write it here. z to the fourth is going to stay on the bottom. All right, so now we're going to deal with what we have left. So first, let's look at our numbers. So we have a negative 4 and a positive 3 to the 1. Now remember, this is just multiplication, just like as if the variables we're still multiplying they're next to each other if they're under each other we divide so it's negative 4 times a positive 3 is a negative 12. all right now we're going to look at the y's so we have a y here and a y here so a y to the 1 and a y to the 1 is a y to the 2. now we'll deal with our x's so down here, we have an x to the 4 and an x to the 6. They're on the same level. So we're going to add the exponents, x to the 10th. And then we have a z to the 4th and a z to the 1. So that's going to be z to the 6th. So our final answer is negative 12 y squared over z to the 6 x to the 10th. All right, we're going to give you one to try. All right, so let's have you try this one. So go ahead and pause your video. Um, that is a 2 up there, in case you can't read it. It's x squared. came out a little sloppy there. Um, go ahead and pause the video and try the problem. All right, so let's take a look at it. Again, we're going to break it down one step at a time. First, let's deal with negative exponents. This is a negative 2, but he's to the negative 2 power. So he's going to come down here. So he's going to stay in parentheses and be a negative 2 to the positive 2. So now we've taken care of him. The x has to move down and become an x to the 3. The y to the 4th is going to stay up here. z squared has got to come down. Now, this whole thing is a family, so we can move the whole family upstairs. So the whole family is going to be 4x squared y 
to the positive one. And then the z just stays down here. All right, so now we're going to take it to the next step. And you can see it's not that difficult if you take it step by step. So distributing a 1 to each of these guys is just multiplying each of the power by 1. So we don't have to actually, I shouldn't make them x, but we don't have to actually do anything there. That's just going to take everything out of parentheses because anything to the first power is itself. So we're going to end up with y to the fourth times 4 times x squared times y. Negative 2 to the second power is negative 2 times negative 2, which is positive 4. And we have x to the third, z squared, z. So if we look at combining our terms here, first let's look at our numbers. We have 4 over 4. That's just 1. So our numbers actually cross off completely. Now let's look at our x's. We have an x squared here and an x to the third here. So that's division since they're on top of each other. And the higher one is on the bottom. So if I subtract, it leaves me with an x to the 1 on the bottom. So that takes care of our x's. For our y's, we have a y to the 1 and a y to the fourth. They're on the same level, so they're multiplied. So I add their exponents, I get a y to the fifth. Same thing down here. I have a z to the one and a z squared. They're on the same level. So I'm just going to add their exponents and get a z to the third. So my final answer is y to the fifth over x z to the third. All right. If you are able to get that one right. You're doing pretty well. Congratulations. And thank you for visiting with Apex Math. If you like our video, please hit the like button. And if you would like us to provide any specific content for future broadcasts, please Tell us what you'd like in the comments section and we'll see if we can create a video for you.